HD Smartcast. You are listening to a Mint production brought to you by HD Smartcast. People buy health insurance to curb out-of-pocket expenses while paying hospital bills. However, even if you buy a policy, it will not cover all costs because the insurance policy lists certain items as non-payable. Hello everyone, I'm Navneet Dubey from Mint's Personal Finance team. Today's topic of Why Not Min Money podcast is Why Health Insurance Doesn't Pay for Non-Standard Charges. Before that, I would like to tell you that in our today's episode, we have invited Siddharth Singhal as an expert speaker. He is the business head health insurance at policybazaar.com. Hi, welcome to Why Not Mint Money a personal finance podcast where we help you understand basic money concepts and share strategies for you to build your wealth. So let's get started on your money journey. Hi Siddharth, welcome to the insurance episode. Uh, my first question to you is, what are non-standard charges in a medical bill? Okay, so uh, ji. so basically non-standard charges or non-medical expenses as they are called. So these are certain uh, expenses which are incurred toward uh, some items uh, which which we use during the hospitalization. So these are very small, small items like, you know, it could be a, a, a pulse oximeter or a gown or, a, you know, buds or PP kit, gloves, syringes, etc. So these are certain, you know, items which are used during the hospitalization, whether planned or unplanned hospitalization and charges incurred toward these are called as non-medical expenses. Right. So IRDA, what has done is okay. has uh, specified a list of such items uh, which which are classified as non-medical expenses related items. Uh, okay. Okay. So uh, why has IRDA standardized the list of expenses that can be ex- excluded from a health insurance policy? So there are broadly, I think, two reasons uh, why you know IRDA has sort of. Excluded this very small, small items, uh, you know, which are used uh, uh, during the hospitalization and generally are payable by the, uh, you know, customer. Uh, the typical cost would range between 5% to 15% of the bill, uh, depending from hospital to hospital and the kind of treatment. Uh, so that is one that these can be payable by the, uh, you know, a, a regular health insurance customer. And secondly, the reason is also difficult to kind of ascertain the amount or you know the volume of such items which have been used uh, hospitalization it's very difficult to ascertain that so basically to kind of uh, you know prevent any kind of misuse of excessive claim or a, a misuse of a health insurance policy so what IRDA has uh, you know allowed the health insurance companies to do is exclude the expenses related to these items so, like I said, you know, these are very small, small items, very difficult to ascertain how much have been used or, you know, how much were actually required. So that's the reason IRDA uh, felt the need to exclude these items from a health insurance or a regular health insurance policy. Okay. So what percentage would uh, non-payable expenses account for of the total bill? So, these these non payable uh, uh, expenses could range anywhere between 5% to 15% of your uh, health insurance uh, of a health medical bill uh, so if let's say somebody has a hospital bill of 1 lakh rupees so this can range from anywhere between 5000 to 15000 uh, depending on the type of hospital depending on the type of kit so for example uh, you know we saw during covid times a doctors used ppe kits uh, while treating the patients and which were all, you know, kind of uh, added to the bill of, of the uh, consumer. So these are such items which, uh, you know, are a part of the medical expenses. Okay. Uh, so uh, is it every time that one has to pay some or the other amount from their pocket, even though they have a health insurance policy? Okay. So, uh, what actually happens is, uh, you know, so this is one list which has been excluded 5% to 15%. But the good thing is now there are a lot of health insurance companies which have come up with the uh, consumables cover, it is called, uh, you know, all the major players now have launched products in the market wherein you can pay 5 uh, to 10% extra premium and get these items covered. 
so uh, if example your hospital bill came in at 10 lakh rupees so on a very rough estimate basis 5% would be, amount to be 50000 rupees extra so but you know by just paying like 5 to 10% extra premium while you are purchasing your health insurance policy or while you are renewing your health insurance policy you can purchase a consumables cover which covers certain list of uh, items uh, and and then you don't need to spend that 50000 rupees from your own pocket so now now there are options available with the health insurance companies so, uh, health insurance customers to go for such provisions uh so uh, one more thing like how many uh, items are there and like these uh, riders do the items vary as per the riders which are provided by the health insurers yes so right as per the you know these items so typically uh, you know from a health insurance company uh, this varies from a plan to plan and obviously health insurance company to company so one is i mean we always advise our customers to go through the list of items typically uh, you know items number of items that are covered by these plans are uh, vary between 70 to 100 uh, list of items and and these are specified uh, uh, items as a part of the policy wordings uh, which the customer can go through at the time of you know buying this plan so some some of the plans may cover all the list of items which have been guided by irda but some others can cover you know uh, let's say 70 to 80% of that list of uh, given by irda so the list contain around 199 or it's only 70 to 80 yeah so that's what i said 70 to 80 would be one uh, of the plan other plans may cover, cover more so what uh, irda has given an option to the health insurance companies is to define uh, like how many items they want to cover so that that's you know uh, open to the uh, you know as per the plan of the health insurance company but the only thing is that all the health insurance companies need to specify what items are covered uh, while they are providing this plan so you mean to say These that these are the only consumables covers okay okay so uh, you mean to say that insurers are free to include or exclude yes. some of the excluded expenses from the health policy correct 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 okay then how do this sub limit on room rent and illnesses differ from this non payable expenses and what if somebody is having a policy which has a capping on room rent how will the okay. bill affect to them oh. okay so typically i'll give you uh, you know one or two examples uh, to clarify how the two things are different so uh, let's say i have a policy of 5 lakh rupees right uh, with a room rent capping of 1% of the room okay what it means is that in a 5 lakh policy i can only take a room uh, which has a room rent capping of 5000 rupees the maximum amount of rent per day for a room can be 5000 rupees right uh and and i have not bought a consumables cover so even if i take a room within the 5000 category i choose go for a room of 4000 rupees per day i will still be paid the amount of money but i will still not be paid uh, you know the expenses related to the non medical expenses so let's assume my bill came of 5 lakh only so 5 5% typically uh, is now about 25000 rupees i will still have to pay my uh, from my own pocket that is towards the non medical expenses if i buy a cover of non medical expenses I, then i might not need to pay 25000 rupees so that that cost will go down right how room rent capping okay. is different is if let's say i take a room of 8000 rupees i was supposed to take a room of 5000 rupees but i took a room of 8000 rupees okay. so what all the insurance companies follow a rule is almost all the insurance company follow a rule is that your expenses related to the, that room also you know go up proportionately for example uh, if let's say 5000 room the doctor fees would have been 500 rupees just a very you know example okay uh, right and and suppose for a 8000 room which is a super deluxe room or something like that the doctor fees uh, hospitals charge more for a you know higher category of rooms but since your health insurance policy uh, allowed you only for 5000 rupees the health insurance company would be right 500 500 only yes all the uh, expenses will to that rule will be paid in a proportionate basis okay so okay. Uh, i look as a customer one i should always go for a plan which does not have any kind of a room rent capping or any kind of sublimits one this obviously you know 
gives me a lot of freedom to choose the kind of room i want to take the treatment in or the kind of hospital i want to go in uh you know so there's no capping and i don't need to worry about that my expenses will be paid uh, proportionately so i think if i have to prioritize it then the first priority would be go for a room uh, plan which does not have any kind of a room rent capping etc even though i might not have a room rent capping uh you know by my plan still did not have a consumables cover so i will still need to pay that 25000 rupees extra uh, on towards the 5% deduction so will right? it affect the consumables also in proportionate or uh sorry so basically you are talking about in case of room rent uh, when mm-hmm. we have to pay a proportionate amount as per the room we have opted over and above Correct. the limit which is being offered by the health insurer to the policy mm-hmm. uh, in that case uh, will there be a proportionate link to the consumables also or they have this they are the the, the charges are standard so uh, that that's you know depends from hospital to hospital but usually what we have seen is these are proportionate to the you know room also so uh, i mean there could be certain items which are proportionate with if you are in a luxury room or a suite room then they might be charging you extra for uh, the syringes etc you know so that that usually depends on hospital to hospital but for sure what is there is that uh, you know these are slightly two different topics of uh, you know room rent capping and a consumables so even if i have a plan which does not have any room rent capping i might still end up paying certain portion of the bill uh, you know which is consumables uh, towards towards that expenses so if i have to kind of completely cover myself against the expenses one i should go for a plan which does not have any kind of a room rent capping and second i need to uh you know go for a, a cover a slightly extra premium which covers the cost of consumables see in a very low value claims it does not uh, the uh, amount does not seem very high for a 1 lakh claim it will be let's say about 5000 10000 rupees uh but yeah if the claim size goes up to 10 lakhs or even higher then uh, you know the consumables amount would be very high and that can go up to 1 lakh 2 lakh also you know depending on the kind of treatment and the kind of hospital okay so at the end uh, of what kind of advice do you want to give to our listeners okay so see the advice uh, i would want to give to uh, all the listeners is uh, you know look for couple of things while you are purchasing a health insurance policy one uh, look for a plan uh which does not have any kind of a room rent capping uh which does not have any kind of sublimits uh that kind of plan obviously helps you uh go for a uh kind of treatment that you want in the hospital of your choice uh because we all know you know in a metro city like delhi mumbai etc uh the hospital room rents can go very high can go up to 10000 rupees as well if we go to very good hospitals with modern treatment facilities so i think uh, that gives you a lot of choice uh to go for a uh you know uh, the kind of treatment the second is uh one must definitely go for a higher sum insured when uh, you know uh, at, at uh, basically to cover all kind of scenarios uh you know while you are uh, you might get hospitalized so i think that's a very important one to go for a higher sum insured because what we have seen is a lot of in customers having you know just a 2 lakh 3 lakh policy which is not enough in these times uh, if you have a family of four and are living in a delhi mumbai kind of a city where okay. in 2 lakh 3 lakh generally is not enough and third is uh, if you can you know if you just pay some bit of a extra premium uh, you can cover the cost uh, towards consumables also uh, i think i think that those are the three four things i would want to you know give the advice to your listeners thank you thank you so much siddharth for your valuable input thank you for coming thank you thank you sir that brings us to the end of our episode if you would like to know more or make suggestions of a personal finance topic that you want us to cover you can reach out to me on twitter at amnavneet dubey thank you for tuning in see you in the next episode this was a mint production brought to you by hd smartcast hd smartcast